All right, so I'm going to show you how you can make your own Minecraft server using the Oracle Cloud. I'm also going to show you how you can put on a mod pack to that server. I'm going to be using the Better MC3, which uses the Fabric Mod Loader, and it's on game version 1.21.1. You can use another mod pack if you want, but just make sure that you're using the right mod loader. And before you start, you'll have to download Putty and Putty Gen, and you'll also have to download FileZilla. Once you've downloaded both of those, you can go over to the Oracle Cloud website, and then we can go to Instances, uh, create a new instance, and I'm going to call mine Minecraft Server. Scroll down to Change Shape, and we'll go for the ARM-based processor, we want to give it 4 OCPUs and 24 gigabytes of RAM. If you go above this, then you're going to have to pay, but this is like plenty of storage for a Minecraft server, so we'll just leave it as that. Uh, then we want to scroll down and create a new virtual cloud network, and then we can save our private key, and then click create. And once we can see the subnet, we can click on subnet. And in the default security lists, click on that. And there's a couple of ingress rules that we want to add. So here we want to say 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0 with an IP protocol of TCP. Add that. And then we want to add another one. 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0 with an IP protocol of UDP and then add that one. Cool. So once that's done, we can go back over to the instance that we just created. Um, okay, I can close this for now and we can open up Putty Gen and press load. And if we go to our downloads folder and select all files, we can see the private key that we just downloaded. So click OK and then save private key. Yes. And I actually have a folder for my keys, so I'll just save it in here. I'll call it a uh, new key. And then once that's saved, we can close out for that. And then we can open up Putty. To connect to our server, we just paste in the IP address as the host name. Make sure you're on port 22. Then we want to go to SSH auth credentials and browse for that key that we just made through Putty Gen. Then we can connect and log in as OPC. All right, cool. Now there is a couple of things that we need to do with the firewall, so I'm just going to run these three commands and I'll paste these into the description so you can just copy and paste them. So we'll just paste these in and then reload. And once that's done, I'm going to make a folder. So mkdir, I'll call it uh, Minecraft server. And once that's done, we cd into Minecraft server, so change directory. And once we're in this folder, we can download, go ahead and install Java. And just type Y, and that will finish the install. And then we need to install Tmux, so just do the same for Tmux. Alright, so once all that's done, we can open up FileZilla. And to connect to our server, we want to go to File, Site Manager. And we want to grab our IP address from Oracle Cloud. So just copy and paste that into the um, host. We want port 22, protocol SFTP, logon type key file, and user OPC. 
and then the key file we just browse for the key that we made through putty gen and we can click connect now we can see our minecraft server folder that we made so open that up now i want to grab the jar file for the fabric server launcher so i'll go to fabricmc.net slash use slash server now for me the game version that i'm going to use is the latest version of my mod pack which is 1.21.1 so I'll select that and then i want these to be the latest version and download that jar file if you're using a mod pack that is also on fabric then you want to do the same and if you're not using a fabric mod pack then you're going to have to get the jar file a, set, a, a different way so I'll just copy in that jar file that I just downloaded and now I want to go to curseforge and I'm going to download the server pack for the mod pack that I'm going to use and I'll just start downloading in the top right and uh, once that's finished I can go ahead and open it and I want to extract it so extract all once that's finished extracting, I can delete the zip folder and I want to open up the extracted folder and take everything that's in here. So control A and then just drag it into FileZilla. Cool. So now that everything has finished transferring, I can close that and there is one last file that we need to add. So I'm going to create a new text document. And we want to call it eula.txt. Open that up and just say eula equals true. Save that and close it and drag it into FileZilla. So now that that's all done, we can open up uh, the Fabric website. And we want to copy this command right here. Now, this command is used to start the server so I'm just going to paste it in uh, but where it says 2G I'm going to change it to like 18G remember we have 24 uh, maximum and now I'm just going to start the server now all I have to do is install the mods for myself and click play Once the game has loaded, uh, we can go and grab the IP address from Oracle. And then all we have to do is go to multiplayer, add server, and paste in our IP address. And it should let me connect. All right, nice. Um, so that is the server working there's one last thing i want to show you and that's how to use tmux so currently we had the server just running inside of putty and if we were to close putty then the server would shut down so the way to get around that is by using tmux so all i've done is i've closed and then reopened putty and i'm just going to type tmux new dash as minecraft and that makes a new tmux session called minecraft uh, another thing I wanted to show you is the server properties. If we say nano server dot properties, this is a file that contains all the information for the server. And you can change this to whatever you want. I actually want to change the difficulty to hard. And there's all sorts of like, like view distance and simulation distance. You can change all of these, you change the name. Uh, to exit this, we just press Control X and then Y and then Enter, and that saves and exits. Now I'm just going to go back to the Fabric website and take the launch command, paste that in again. I'll give it 18G and start the server back up. And 
once the server has restarted, I'm actually going to make myself an uh, operator. And then we can close Putty. And because we use Tmux, the server is still up even though we closed Putty. <laughs> 